Why is everyone suddenly Christian? Has God become a social media trend? Hello, I'm your host Jesse AA. Welcome back to another video. On this channel, we talk about beauty, we talk about fashion, we talk about lifestyle, etiquette, what's going on in the world around us, how to carry yourself as a lady. If it's your first time here, you're welcome, darling. And if you're a returning viewer, you're most welcome once again to the channel. So, in today's talk, we are going to be talking on what is happening in the world around us, like what is happening on social media. Has God become the new social media trend? I don't know. Anyway, I said I'll come today and create this video so that we have a conversation and that you have the option to leave your comment down below if there's anyone out there who is thinking like I'm thinking because I feel like something is happening. Something is going on, guys. Definitely something is going on. It's either the end of the world or something that we do not know about. So if you're interested in a topic like this, I will invite you to stick around, make yourself comfortable while we wind down together. And for those of you who are here subscribe, please endeavor to hit the subscribe button right down below and turn on your notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you'll be the first to know. I've had these questions running through my mind for a while now, and I've just been like wondering for a while, like what is happening? Why is everybody suddenly Christian? Like is the world about to come to an end? um a few months ago i tried to talk about this topic in one of my videos but i did not really go deep but today the way things have become i decided that okay this is time it is time for me to get up and talk about what is happening around us because y'all i'm like 2024 what is going on is it like a year of awakening because i know for a fact there are some of you out there who have been having this question from into their mind, who have been wondering like what is going on. First of all, I would like to talk about my background history. Growing up, I've always been a Catholic Christian. Okay, I've been a full-time Catholic Christian. I got baptized in the Catholic Church. I took the communion. I'm just left with confirmation and marriage. And I used to be one of the cadets of Mary, those who tie the hair and wear those dresses and you know what the cadets of mary right like people you probably know what the cadets of mary are so that is what i grew up into i grew up into that culture into that background full-time cadet of mary we used to go and sing we used to go visit convents you know all that good stuff so there was this group called the charismatic charismatic that was the only group where you could like see people really pray at this mature stage that i am right now I'm like there is more to my life which i want to see right i want to get i want to create a more personal relationship with god i want to be like more personal so that's when i began to like grow my spirituality my work with god and lately something has been going on on the internet which i do not understand however what i want to say about this is that it's not a bad thing don't get me wrong okay do not get me wrong it's good in fact it is the best thing that can happen in this world right now for everyone to realize themselves and wake up and know like where to go and know that they serve only one master who is jesus christ but what i wanted to say on this is that i am just hoping for the people who are coming out to talk about god to to talk about the way they have left their past life behind mostly the celebrities guys i hope that if they have really turned away from whatever it is they were doing and you really want to come to God, come to Jesus, it should be like something that comes from their heart, you know. Because we as Christians, our duty on earth is to win souls for Christ, is to win souls, is to get people, is to win as much souls as we can, to be evangelists, like literally. And I really hope that no one is using God's name in vain. Okay, I hope nobody is using God's name in vain for one thing or the other, or to like, I don't even know like the specific reason why, but I just hope that anyone who is coming out to talk about God, you're talking about him because you want to educate people about him. You want to win more people to him. You want to talk to the people who are not even aware, the ignorant. You want to talk to them and gain their heart for Jesus. You're not just saying it because you see people saying it. You're not just saying it because it might be a trend. Because the way I see it, it's like it's a social media trend right now. Like the whole point of this video for me was just to create an awareness and just to pass this information that all these celebrities, all these people who are coming up and realizing that they have given, they want to give their life to Christ, they want to like walk in the way of God. Congratulations, okay? 
congratulations to you. People of influence, you know, when you say things to others, you should really reflect what you're saying, your lifestyle, everything, what you do, how you how you behave with people, but what you say out of your mouth, everything should reflect a Christian, okay? Because you know, people people are influenced a lot, and it might be like, okay, since the celebrity said they are now Christian and they are doing this thing, it means it's okay for me to do it too, which is not, guys, which is not so. If you come out and you say you are not a Christian, you want to follow God, you want to follow Christ, be sure to make sure that you abandon the world and everything in it and you follow Christ for real, for real, okay? And you set the example, the right example for people to follow. So back of what I've been talking about, I just want to pull up the, the scripture so that we can really get into it, okay? In the book of 1 John chapter 6, verse 12, also in 1 John chapter 2, verse 17, it says, A true Christian does not love the world, nor the things of the world. Instead, he seeks to do God's will and have eternal life. The world and God are so antagonistic. Okay, guys, this is what Google is saying. The world and God are so antagonistic that if you are friends with the world, you are an enemy to God. So, if you have decided that, Lord Jesus, I'm going to throw everything behind. I'll pick up my cross and I'll follow you. It should be something that is coming from your heart. It should be something that you're willing to set the example for others to follow, okay? You're not just doing it because you hear people doing it. You're not just doing it because it might be trendy. You're doing it because it's like a complete renewal of your mind, a complete renewal of the heart, okay, guys? So, yeah. Bottom line, that's pretty much what I want to talk about in today's video. However, if you're watching this video and you're saying to yourself, I want to give my life to Christ, I have decided I want to give my life to Christ, I want to follow God, I want to win souls for God, I want to be a child of the kingdom of God. Just repeat this prayer after me, okay? Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I repent of my sin. I know you died on the cross of Calvary to set me free from my sins. And on the third day, you rose again for the glory and honor of your name. Please come into my heart and my life and do with me what you will i want to trust and follow you as my lord and personal savior amen so guys if you did this prayer congratulations okay make sure your lifestyle reflects christ reflects what he has for you and always be sure to wait for his perfect timing because his timing will never fail all right guys so yeah pretty much that's what we have in today's video i just want to conclude by praying to say oh jesus i thank you i thank you for your words of today i thank you for speaking through me i pray that for your children who have come to you today may you receive them love them show them the way to follow and guide them in every area of their lives in jesus mighty name we pray amen that's that guys thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it you learned one or two things endeavor to comment down below what are your thoughts if you're near subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below and also don't forget to turn your post notification there so that every time we have a new video you'll be the first to know that being said once again i'm your host jesse aa catch you all in my next video bye guys